up everybody? Welcome to Buzz Worthy TV and I'm the girl Lady T and today we are talking Basketball Wives. So I did pretty good last week with giving y'all four reviews so I'm going to keep the momentum going and we just going to see how this turns out. Okay so we got Drea and Jackie. You know, the episode picks back up with her telling Jackie about Malaysia wanted to meet up with Doug. But she don't tell Jackie the full truth. She says that Malaysia wants to meet with Doug. She don't say that she wants to go on a date with Doug. So anyway, of course, Jackie is like, what the, what you want with my husband? Like, I don't let nobody go. You know, he got a tether attached to him. He don't go two feet away from me, you know? And so, basically, Dre is trying to smooth it over by saying, it's just a meeting. She just wants to get a perspective of who you are. She wants to get it from Doug, someone who loves and knows you. So, Jackie says, okay. But we all know it's about to go down. So, anyway, we got... Patrice, you know, Patrice is new to the show, and we're kind of getting a little bit into her storyline. She's with her husband, Eddie Curry, and they're basically talking about Malaysia's relationship and how, you know, she's going through a divorce, and it gets her to reflecting on their issues. And we learn that, you know, Eddie has cheated on Patrice in the past, that he actually has a son out of his that was born out of his infidelity however the mother got tragically murdered and Patrice is taking on the role as his mother and so I just thought that to be very compelling to see how things like that work because a lot of women find it difficult even though the child is innocent they find it difficult to accept that child and it's so funny because I remember when my dad had my little sister. Now, mind you, they were already separated and going through the divorce process. So there wasn't no infidelity like that. But he did have another child. And my mother, who, like I said, she's my hero. She, to me, was an example of a woman. Yes, she was hurt, but she never took it out on my little sister. To this day, they are very close. She's going on vacations with us and everything. So, it's good to see on a TV show like Basketball Wise how they could show something positive out of a negative situation. So, anyway, we get to Jackie's commercial. Now, Jackie and all her crazy ass ideas. Well, they not happening as smoothly as she would like. But I'm like, that's because Jackie, you got too much going on, boo-boo. Excuse me, y'all. As y'all can see, my hair still didn't get right from it getting wet. Um, so, she is basically, you know, running around like a chicken with her head cut off because things are not going as planned. The snake is late. The girl who's supposed to be the star of the commercial, she's late. And she's just nervous. So, while she's running around, we get Megan. Megan shows up to come and show support. And she asks Jackie, like, hey, what do you want me to do? And she was like, wow. Can you start a commercial? And, like, Jackie's reason is, is that, you know, Megan is a budding actress. She's beautiful. I need a spokesperson for this cognac. Let's make it work. So anyway, while they, you know, getting the, sh getting the commercial off the ground, we got Patrice showing up. Patrice is showing up because, again, Jackie has extended this invitation for everybody to come to her commercial shoot, but no one comes but Megan and Patrice. So Megan is like, why is Patrice here? Patrice is Malaysia's friend. So why is she coming here? Because she's Malay Patricia Malaysia's friend. Malaysia doesn't like Jackie. So why is she here to support Jackie? And I'm like, Megan, you are over analyzing way too much, sweetheart. Like you doing the absolute most. You turning a positive situation and you about to turn it negative just because you want to assume and overanalyze stuff. Girl, stop. So she asks Patrice, you know, 
what's up? You know, I'm just surprised you're here. And basically, Patrice says the same thing that we was all thinking. You know, she trying to, I know Malaysia, she's my friend. She got issues with Jackie, but I want to get to know Jackie for myself. And that's what she was doing. She was coming out and show support and to get to know Jackie for herself. And I respect that. So, they, Megan gets to talking to Jackie and it's like, yeah, something about her is evil. You know, I went to go hug Patrice and she wouldn't hug me, talking about she only hugs her friends. And I asked her why she's here. And she's just like, she wants to support you, but why would she want to support you when, you know, she's from Malaysia and you're Malaysia going through y'all thing. And she was like, I just don't trust her. And so Jackie's like, well, if she want to start something, you know, I give her what she wants, basically. And when Patrice comes up behind her, I respect what Jackie did. She said, yeah, we were talking about you. And she was like, I just hope you get to know me for me and don't really start up nothing on Malaysia's behalf because, you know, that's just not who I really am. And Patrice was just like, that's what I was trying to do. But by this time, Patrice is feeling uncomfortable. So not too long after they had a little talk, Patrice leaves. And I, I don't blame her. She comes down there to get to know somebody. And it just was all taken out of context thanks to Megan Bunny and for no reason. So anyway, then we got Drea, Malaysia, and Patrice. They all need enough for drinks or whatever. And... Basically, you know, Drea lets them know that, hey, uh, wait, I'm sorry. So Patrice lets them know that, hey, I went to Jackie's commercial shoot. And they was like, girl, why? She was like, well, first of all, I thought y'all was going to be there. But even though I figured out that y'all wasn't going to be there, I wanted to go and get to know her and show support. And she tells them, you know, about Megan, like, Megan came at her all wrong, you know, questioning why she was here, why she was there or whatever. And so after that, Drea decides that she wants to meet up with Megan because she's just trying to figure out what's up with homegirl. Why is she lying about being friends with Jackie? Why is she all like trying to be protective over who has, you know, the best intentions for Jackie? If you don't know Jackie, all like that. So. When they sit down and talk, you know, Jack, basically Drea is like, what's up? I heard that, hold on, this flame is all off today. Okay. So, basically, they sit down and talk. And Patrice lets her know that, hey, you know, I went to Jack, no, sorry. Megan lets Drea know that, hey, I ran into Patrice at... Jackie's commercial and Drea's like yeah I heard and she was like look I know that's your girl and all because she asked her how do you feel about Patrice she was like well I think she cool she was like you may think she cool but I'm telling you that girl is evil I went to hug her she said she only hug her friends and then you know she was at the commercial shoot just side eyeing me and it was just like wow that's not necessarily how it happened you kind of amping it up and you know Drea kind of laughed at some of the stuff that Megan was saying, but she still got her eye on her. And I don't blame her. Keep your eye on her, Drea, because some ain't right. So then we got Eddie's birthday party. Eddie's having this birthday party, and Malay and Patrice got together and they planned it. And before it gets too turned up, Drea sits all the girls down and lets them know, okay, look, Brandy... I talked to Jackie, she's down with helping you with this whole little uh, charity, this cancer charity. Now, Malaysia, I talked to Jackie, and she's okay with you going out with Doug. And Jack and Malaysia was like, what? She really wants, she's really going to allow me to go out with Doug? I don't believe that. And that's when Dre lets her know, well, I kind of smoothed it over a bit by saying it was just a meeting. And that's when Malaysia gets into her feelings like, no, see, you fucked it up. I don't want to be friends with Jackie. I said that because I knew she would never do it. And your delivery just fucked it up. You should have just told her. I will go out. I will forgive or hear you or hear you out if I can go on a date with Doug. You should have just said it just like that. But 
I kind of understand what Drea was kind of from. Drea's like, look, you weren't there. You know how she feel about Doug. I just want trying to get cussed out, shot, or whatever the case. So I was just doing what I thought was best for all concerned. Look, you weren't there. So, and I wasn't about to get shot. You know they shoot the messenger, like she said. So she gets all of her feelings, and then she turns on Brandy. Because Brandy's like, but you did say that. And she was like, yeah, I said if I could go on a date. She she sugarcoated, and now Jackie's agreed, and I don't even want to hear what Jackie has to say. And, you know, she turns on Brandy, and Brandy's like, look, you asked for it, you got it. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at Drea. And I got to agree with her. Girl, you, you, you wrote a check that your ass can't cash. Don't be mad at everybody else. So, anyway, at this party, everybody getting turned up, and then they bring on a stripper but the stripper is actually a little person and I'm like uh, I should have known it was gonna be something funny it wasn't gonna be like no real strippers or nothing like that you know these women who deal with these athletes they don't do that because they don't trust their men which rightfully so because all these, a lot of these men are out here just cheating and he already got a history of cheating so I would have did something funny like that too so anyway, then we got Jackie and Brandy. They meet up to basically talk, and Brandy lets Jackie know that, look, my problem with you was that you was laughing when Sunday was talking about go make some babies. And Jackie tells her, look, I wasn't laughing because I thought she was talking about your kids, so I was thinking that she was saying y'all need to go fuck or whatever. And so Brandy's like, well, whatever the case, I took it as a... I took it as an insult and I was offended and that's why I really don't got too much to say to you and you know Jackie apologized like look that was not my intention I promise you that's not what I thought she was saying but I'm sorry for offending you and they decided they're going to do this charity event together and they seem to be going down the right path we'll see you know this is basketball wise so this ain't gonna last too long then we got um let's see hold on jackie and megan jackie is still in her feelings about agreeing to let malaysia have his meeting with doug you know she's in her feelings she's just like i don't feel good about this i should never say nothing uh, what do you think? You think I should still let this go down? And Megan tells her right. She was like, you know they're doing this to basically get under your skin. And if you don't let it happen, then you're going to prove them right. So go ahead, let it happen, and prove them chicks wrong. And I agree with her. They're just doing this to mess with you, Jackie. So you got don't give them the satisfaction. Now, Jackie. Come here. We about to talk about this meeting that you was doing inch eye, private eye stuff with this Doug and Malaysia meeting or whatever. Look, I came with you. First of all, Doug and Malaysia get together at some restaurant. Now Malaysia is dressed all the way conservative. Everything is buttoned up and everything. And you know, she just sits across the table, and even she said, look, I don't want to get too close, because I know your wife is around here somewhere. He's like, no, she ain't around here, you know. It ain't like that, but Jackie is across the street in the car. Like, Malaysia called it, and this is when I'm like, Jackie, you too old for this. No, you had no right to do this. What is up with Doug? That you can't let him just have a meeting. You you look right in the window. You see she dressed, you know, very conservative. She ain't all over your man. She ain't being overly flirtatious. What is your problem? Like you are like she was in that truck going crazy. Like oh my god, I can't do this. She's a fucking lunatic. Like I can't. I was like Jackie, grow up. You are like. A lot of YouTubers are saying, you're like 70 years old, okay? There's no reason for you to be acting like this. <laughs> so anyway, while she's spying on them, Malaysia starts acting, asking Doug about Jackie and about why she does the things that she do. 
And basically, he's like, you know, that's just one aspect of her. But she's really a nice, sweet, gentle person. And, you know, you got to get to know all sides of her. Y'all were friends once, so you know that that's in her. And that's what she was like, well, yeah, you right. The fact that she let you come out shows that she trusts me a little bit. Come, Malaysia, Malaysia, if only you knew that you was right all along. Because she right out there losing her freaking mind right outside the restaurant. Anyway, that was the episode. Till next time, y'all. Peace and love.